Hello everyone! This video would focus on circle graph or pie chart. By definition, circle graph or pie chart is a graph in a shape of a circle that is made up of different wedges, which we call as sectors, that each of these sectors or wedges represent a percentage of a whole. So pretty much these wedges or sectors that we have that makes up the um, circle graph or the pie graph are actually in a shape of a pie. Those, that's probably where the uh, name pie chart come from. So what it's trying to say on the definition is that this pie chart or circle graph is made up of wedges or we call this as sectors. And each of these sectors or wedges that we have here represent a percentage of the whole. To better understand the idea of a circle graph or pie chart, let's take this examples right here. So in this chart, we are given a um, circle graph that represents a favorite pizza toppings. So there are questions on the side. So by the way, before we look into this um, questions right here, there are four toppings considered in this circle graph. So first we have the pepperoni, which is 50%. Cheese is 25%, sausage is 15%, and supreme is missing. So let's look at these questions that we have on the side. So we're asked to look at the graph or the pie chart on the left, and we're supposed to answer these questions. What percent of customers prefer cheese? Looking at this pie chart, we can tell that there are 25% of customers that prefer cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write 25% right here. And then for the second one right here, it says that we are supposed to determine the percentage of customers that prefer Supreme. So it's blank right here. We remember that the total percentage of a circle or a pie graph or a pie chart is 100%. So in this case right here, we got a 50, we got a 25, we got a 15, and we're missing. So again, we remember that the total should be 100%. So we need to figure out what is this missing uh, piece right here. So we can go ahead and say that um, we can actually subtract all of these to 100 to, to be able to come up with the missing value here. So I'll show the work down here. So I go ahead and write 100% minus that's going to be we, we're going to add all of these together and subtract it from 100 so that is 50 percent plus 25 percent plus 15 percent and so if we add all these that would be 100 percent minus that's 50 plus 25 plus 15 is 90 percent so um 100 minus 90 percent is 10 percent so this is 10% right here. So we can go ahead and label this as 10%. The other way to um, do this without having to show all this work is just to use the calculator. So we can grab the calculator. We start from 100 and then we subtract each of these from 100 because we remember that the total uh, percentage of a pie chart or a circle graph is 100%. So I go ahead and say 100 minus 50 minus 25 minus 15 and that gives me 10 percent it's pretty much the same thing as the one that we have on this uh, work right here let's move on to the next example right here so again we have the same um circle graph and we're supposed to answer the one on the side here which toppings is most favorite so we are going to determine which one has the biggest percentage and that is pepperoni so i'm going to write that down here Okay, now we're supposed to determine which toppings is least favorite. Least favorite means the one with the least percentage, and that is supreme. So I'm going to write that down here. Okay, now let's have some other examples here. So let's take this next example right here. If this circle graph represents 500 people, how many people prefer sausage as toppings? So what are we going to do here is that we are going to use a formula in order that we can solve this kind of problem that is related to the circle graph. We remember that the value that we want is equal to the total times the percentage in decimal. So I'm going to write the formula um, down here.
Okay, so we are going to plug the values in. So in this problem right here, we're supposed to determine how many people prefer sausage as toppings. So pretty much the total number of people that in, is included in the um, chart is 500. So I'm gonna plug that into the 500. And then we have times. The percentage that we have is, we're looking for uh, the sausage here. So I got the 500, I put that in here. The sausage percentage is 15%. So what I would do is I will change this to um, decimal form. So I'll just write the 15% right here. In order that we can change this to decimal, we are supposed to move the decimal um, point two places to the left. So starting from um, the end of the five after, so we're moving it. So in order that we can change this 15% to decimal, we are going to move the decimal point two places to the left. So this becomes 0 0.15. So once we multiply these two together, 500 times 0 0.15 is 75. So that means 75 people prefer sausage. And because that is, again, um, 15% or the 75 is actually 15% of 500. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. If this circle graph represents 500 people, how many people prefer cheese as toppings? So again, we write the formula right here. Okay, we plug the values in, so the total again is 500. So I'll write that down, that's 500. We're looking for cheese here. So then we multiply that by the percentage of cheese, which is 25%. So I write that 25%. And then again, we are going to change this 25% to decimal, two places to the left, one, two, so that is 0 0.25. So that's pretty much becomes 500 times 0 0.25 and if we multiply these two together that should equal to 125 people so this means that 125 people prefers cheese as toppings if we consider this circle graph to be represented as 500 people so that's 125 here did you get the same answer as this good Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!